Should you eat before or after your workout? Which one is better? I'll tell you in this video and I'll leave out all the boring science. So make sure you stay tuned. What's going on YouTube? It's X Factor Fitness and I am back with another community post response. I posted on the community page asking for questions as I did before. This time I got two good questions from Christopher Stino. I am new to lifting weights and knowledge about muscle gain. Two questions. First, is it better to work out first thing in the morning or does time of day not matter? And secondly, is it better to eat before or after lifting for best results? Now in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the importance of eating before and after your workout. So first and foremost, thank you, Christopher, for this question. I know a lot of folks out there have this same concern. There's a lot of articles and magazines out there giving us a lot of information that maybe we just can't digest. So I'm here to break it down without the science clout and all of the knowledge. What you need to know is that you have to eat according to your goals. Not everyone wants to lose weight and not everyone wants to gain weight and if you don't know by now how you eat will determine the results you get at the end of the day but what i'm here to tell you is that eating pre-workout and post-workout are both very very important when we're talking about making gains first let's talk about pre-workout the food that you consume before your workout is going to turn into energy simply put and that energy is what we're going to use during our workout it's going to help us push for us muscle gainers out there it's going to help us build muscle help us lift heavier weight for our folks out there trying to lose weight that energy is still very, very important because it's gonna help you push through those cardio sessions. And at the same time, if you're losing weight, you still have to apply some resistance training. So you need that energy, you need that feel. Now, if we're talking about what we should eat, what time we should eat, understand that a pre-workout meal or even a snack has to be eaten at different times. If we're talking about a small snack, 30 minutes before your workout is ideal. If we're talking about a larger meal with a good amount of protein and a good amount of carbs, that needs to be eaten at least an hour or an hour and a half before for your workout and this is because you want your food to digest your food would not turn into energy for your workout if it is not fully digested so it is not ideal to eat a large meal right before you go to the gym or right before you work out. If you're running low on time, throw in a nice small snack, some carb source that's gonna help you fill your workout. Now, when you get to the gym, what I like to do is drink BCAA. So although we have that feel of energy from the food that we ate, we also need to help fill us through the workout and make sure we do not fatigue. And that's why I like to consume BCAAs throughout the entire workout. You can find the BCAAs that I like to consume down in the description box. So go ahead and check that out. Now, let's talk about post-workout. Now it's time for us to replenish our body. This is new energy new feel. This is feel to keep carrying out through the day. You have just went to the gym, destroyed your body, used up all of your energy. So now it's time to rebuild. That's where the post-workout meal comes into play. So immediately following your workout, what I like to do is consume fast carbs. I'm talking about a nice replenishment of sugar. So fruit will do. Candy sometimes. Rice cakes for a lot of us healthier individuals out there. But no matter what, you want to consume a nice fast carb that's going to help replenish those muscles right after the workout. The post-workout meal comes next. And just like the pre-workout meal, it does not have to be consumed right after the workout. You can wait an hour or an hour and a half after your workout to get this post-workout meal in. But you just need to make sure that you're getting it in. Do not skip the post-workout meal. Post-workout meals are very important when we're talking about recovery. So if you're out here and you're trying to build muscle, you will not build muscle if your body does not recover. So that's why that's important. If we're talking about losing weight, you need to understand that, again, you need to recover. You will not receive any results based on fitness if you do not recover. So recovery should be at the top of the list when we're talking about reaching results. And we'll put it right beside nutrition. So recovery, just as important as nutrition. All right, for Christopher, I hope this helps you and I hope it helps anybody who clicked on this video because this is actually very, very important when we're talking about reaching the next level. We can't take our bodies to the next level if we do not feed the body with proper nutrition pre and post workout. If you have any other questions about this particular topic, I will encourage you to comment down below that question and I will make sure I answer that. But you can also check out this playlist right here, which is fitness and diet tips. Lots of tips that will answer a lot of your questions that you probably are asking yourself right this moment. And if you wanna get right down to the nitty gritty and figure out what you should actually eat around your workout, go ahead and check out this video right here because I spoke about it already. And of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the X Factor Fitness channel. Now go eat, go train, and make some gains.